In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Welcome as we gather in this holy place, the site of the apparitions of our Blessed Mother. We come together to pray, to make all our offerings. Before we do so, we pause and we ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you suffered and died for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you challenge us to take up the cross and follow you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to follow you as your disciples. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, and free us from every danger so that we may rejoice in your peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord my God. I said, my God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O oh my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, Great has been our guilt, and for our wicked deeds we have been delivered up. We and our kings and our priest, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage and to disgrace, as is to case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude, our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia towards us. Thus he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and to restore its ruins and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. the responsorial psalm, Blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depth of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Yes, so now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Yes, In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness and give him praise.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus called the twelve together and gave them the power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, Take nothing for the journey, neither staff, nor harvest stick, nor bread, nor money, and let none of you take a spare tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and when you leave, Let it be from there. As for those who do not welcome you, when you leave their town, shake the dust from your feet as a sign to them. So they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and healing everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading today, we hear from Ezra. And Ezra, as he's trying to live a holy life, being called by God to be a prophet for him, realizes all of a sudden, when he's in communion with the Lord, that, wait a minute, I'm a sinner. I can't be before you, my Lord and my God. And he works on his holiness. He humbles himself before our God. And all of us have to recognize in our own lives what our weaknesses are, what our own sins are, and we offer them back to the Lord. And here, here in this place, we have the Blessed Mother, the great intercessor who we can always call upon to help us live a holy life. And when we offer ourselves to her and we say, here I am, just like we say to the Lord, she always points the way to her son, Christ the Lord. And as Ezra proclaimed the salvation for all the world, Jesus comes and fulfills that salvation. And not only that, in today's reading, we hear what Jesus tells the apostles, the people gathered, all of us, to go out, to go out and proclaim the good news of the Lord, carrying nothing with you. Many of us are here as pilgrims, and we think, how much stuff do we bring with us? A bag, a lap sack, all these different things that we bring for our comfort. But in the gospel, he says, go with nothing, trust in the Lord, free yourselves of all earthly possessions. So as we go about our day today, here in this holy place, we offer ourselves to our blessed mother and say, point us the way to Christ. And we think, how can I take the message of Jesus Christ out to everyone that I meet so that the whole world knows, as the gospel says, preach the good news of salvation. Please stand. We pray today for the Holy Father and all the church, that the church follows the way of the Lord in proclaiming the gospel message. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For world leaders, that they work for the good of all citizens of the world. We pray to the Lord. For all those who farm, that the season will be blessed with them with a great abundance as they feed the needs of others, we pray to the Lord. For all the special intentions that we bring to this holy place, that we place them on the altar of the Lord, giving them to Mary to present to God Most High, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick, suffering, lonely, addicted, In particular, Armin, David, Bazo, Faika, Vidad, that the Lord come to them in a special way, touch their hearts and heal them. We pray to the Lord. And for all those who have died, that they may enter into the eternal reward being in the kingdom of the Lord. 
We pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we ask you to send your spirit upon us. Heal us of whatever it is that we need healed and help us always to turn to you and proclaim your salvation to the world. We ask these prayers through Christ the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that, following the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
said the blessing, broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen.
Let's pray. Having nourished us with heavenly food, O Lord, grant that, according to the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may serve you in purity of life and magnify you with her in wholehearted praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Together, Have a great day, everyone. And together let us all sing Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary. Thank you.